going. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a paintbrush and a paint palette. So to start with our paintbrush we're going to begin with the bristles and starting right here I'm just going to make a line that just curves down and up like this. Then I'm going to draw a line that curves back and then I'm going to curve it out to here. Then I'm going to take this line and I'm just going to curve this all the way up to here and then I'm just going to kind of curve right around it. Now right here I'm going to draw a line that goes up and then over here you want to do the same thing. Then you just connect these with a little curved line. Now right here I'm going to curve up and I'm just going to draw a little line that just kind of curves around and comes right to here. Then starting right here I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go up and then it's going to curve around and then just come right back down to here. Then on here I'm just going to make some wavy lines to make it look like there's paint on the brush. Now for the paint palette. So starting here I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to curve around and it's just going to come all the way around like this. Then I'm going to take this line and I'm just going to draw this line right down here to the brush. And then I'm just going to curve it right to here. Now right here I'm going to draw a circle. And then right here I'm gonna make a curved line like this to make it look 3D. Then right here I'm gonna draw a line that just kinda of goes down and it's going to follow the same shape of the paint palette and I'm gonna end it right there. Another way to make it look 3D. Then starting here we're gonna do the same thing and just kinda of curve down, follow the same curve, and then when you get up to here just kinda run it right back into that line. Now to make it look like there's paint on here. So to draw the paint I'm just going to make some squiggly lines like this and I'm gonna put them in different places and make them different sizes and different shapes of course because you want them all to look a little different. And I'll put one more right here. And then you can always go, you can add little small ones around here just to make it look like the paint has kind of splattered around. And there you go. There's your drawing of a paintbrush and a paint palette. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.